Long before there were any national championships or All-Americans at the University of Miami, there was John Knoppenberg. In the late 1930s, Knoppenberg was a multi-talented sensation for the Young Hurricanes program. Hall of Fame member Tom Kearns remembers. Well, he was a heck of a ball player, and uh, he wasn't afraid of anybody. You know, uh, John came to school on a tennis scholarship in Anonymy, Wisconsin. And, uh, of course, in the cafeteria over at the school, uh, the football team was, had a training table. And of course, the tennis players had a foot for themselves. So he went and talked to the coach and got a, a, a football scholarship and started playing football. And he was a darn good football player, too. While his primary position was fullback, Knoppenberg played halfback and quarterback when needed. A workhorse in the backfield, he still ranks sixth all-time for rushing attempts, tied with Edger and James and Hall of Famer Otis Anderson. I've seen him do some of the darndest things. We were on about the 40-yard line, and he made a 40-yard line buck, a fullback buck. And he was, we used to count it in, in, when we looked at the movies. He was, uh, uh, he was hit, I think, 13 or 14 times. That meant that some guys hit him twice, maybe some of them hit him three times. He bounced off him all the way to the goal line. He's good. But what made John Knoppenberg stand out the most was his toughness. John's nickname was the Mad Bull. Everybody was afraid of John. He was only 180 pounds. But he was just tough, you know, he just looked like he was ready to fight any time you talked to him. Everybody, everybody was light-footed around him. Didn't want to get him, at, at, you know, hired up. Knoppenberg went on to play professionally in the NFL, starring on the Pittsburgh Steelers teams of 1940 and 41. Today, after more than 60 years, it's an honor to welcome John Knoppenberg into the University of Miami Sports Hall of Fame.